You know, I appreciate honesty above all else, scientific honesty. Now, that's me. That is not you. I appreciate, appreciate honesty. How bitter that honesty, that scientific truth, might be for me. Tell me scientific truth, and you'll be my friend for life. Even if it means I know I cannot get out of myopia. Now, that's not my standard. It's probably not your standard. This means that I'm not going to make claims, because every time you make a claim, you'll get people who nitpick what you're talking about. Then they'll say, I want an optometrist to prescribe it. Guess what? That is never, ever going to happen. They live in their own isolated world that has nothing to do with science, objective experiments, honesty in people, and the truly the honesty difficulty of prevention at 20, 40, 20, 50, and 2060. So I will post some remarks by Jake Steiner. Jake and I are different in many ways, but similar in some ways. So we will contradict each other and we will support each other. How you decide things is completely up to you. I believe in self-measure. That's why you see a snowing up. That's why you see me looking at it. That's why you see me reporting 2020. You can question that. You say, I never did that. Some OD has got to check it. That's complete bull. Get it by doing it yourself. I also use my own test lenses, which are not, diff not difficult to learn to use. But I do know how difficult prevention is. Jake talks about exercise. He's right. Unless you define it, you're not talking about anything. If by exercise you mean living outdoors most of the time, working outdoors, playing sports, yes, exercise, part of it. If you're saying sit there, roll your eyes, forget it. That's not exercise. But I would ex exclude the word because it's going to be totally misunderstood. Bates did not use exercise, not in 1913. A good study, but you ought to read it. What he did had the kids look at a Snellen. That's objective confirmation, and that's the only confirmation you, you really need. Let me add a, a, a compromise. Passing the DMV at home is a good result for anyone. It makes you legal. It means you can stop wearing a minus lens with common sense. Get a minus lens, put it on the dash of your car, drive a car, do it. So I'm about the last stage of prevention to go from 2040 to 2020. That's assuming you're going to a four-year college, because now I know you're going to go down by two doctors in four years. You damn well or better know this yourself, too, or you're going to get messed up with both a close work and a minus lens. It's going to be an issue. You have to decide. I meet a number of people. I meet, meet Nick Pickers. They don't want to listen to anything. They want to tell you how much they know. That type of nitpicking is a waste of time. Then I met people who will ask about the plus lens. Then they won't do what I suggest they do, the simplest things, like set up a Snellen, look at it, are you 20, 40, 20, 50, and then get some plus lenses and start playing with them so you know what you're doing. So what do they do? They start arguing about, oh, I do I need this plus, plus what distance and so forth, plus this, plus that. And they really don't know what they're talking about. But that doesn't stop them. I had a pilot friend, Brian Severson. I'd written a book about how to avoid nearsightedness, how to avoid negative status with a no, co complete normal eye. I said, get a plus lens, several, and start playing with them and working on and wear them. 
I mean, it's a permanent thing. So he did. He did what I asked him to do. Why? Because I'm a pilot? Because he was a pilot and he knew the consequences of not doing what I suggested when he was at 2040. This excludes about 99.9% .9 of the population. They will not do it for love or money or anything. So I'll post Jake's video on exercise, which I completely agree with. I also will not say improve, because improve from what to what? Yeah, that's nice, so I will say that much. But the final stage of prevention is avoiding. And for me, that means I have 20, 40, 20, 50, and 2060. I'm entering a four-year college, and I want to keep vision that passes the DMV. If you set that standard, you could probably be successful. But if you're demanding extremely sharp vision almost instantly or two or three minutes, I say, forget it. Please go elsewhere. Log on to Jake's site. He's very helpful. But don't ask for miracles or things that are not going to happen. Yeah, ODs, optometrists, what are they? They must deal with a mass of people who have their vision ruined with a minus lens, except they're cutting, catching it three or four, ten years later. There's no way that that will ever work. As an organization, you could say they're dealing with massively ignorant people who don't know what they're doing, will not listen, will not take instruction, will not do anything for prevention. And you're thinking they're going to prescribe something? You're kidding yourself. Yes, I just got an email from a friend who is an optometrist. Wasn't an intelligent person. He's a person who anticipates or know what, knows what's going to happen. Again, that mine's a half doctor per year. He started his kids wearing a plus before they were slightly mildly negative and had them wear it through basically 10 years. That's the only thing that works. Didn't cost the kids anything, didn't cost them anything except 30 years of publication and experience and being myopic himself. His goal was to stop his kids from becoming myopic. But it was not optometry, it was science. And it was those kids, and it makes all the difference in science. Enjoy the video, but please don't ask for the plus to be a cure. And please don't ask to get out of a lot of it. Do your own studies. Do your own thinking. I can only hope you have it to take a minus off and you're still reading the 2040 to 2050 line. If your kid's entering a four-year college and he has 2050 and the optometrist is giving you a minus lens, you really have to think about what you're doing. Thanks a lot.